Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is going to be one of my few Crucible videos and it's kind of changed from what it started out to be. It started out to be my my tips and hints and experiences of solo queuing, Luna's Howl and the Recluse and it ended up being my, my take on what the problems with Crucible are. Now I spent about 10 days in comp doing Luna and uh, the Recluse. Big shout out to Sphyline who helped me get the last 350 points, 350 points I needed to get Fabled. It was all in vain because I lost the points immediately, went all the way back down to Heroic 3, but then I played my way all the way back to Fabled solo. So I have done every step of this solo, but a big shout out to him. He's an absolute surgeon with the last word. I found a lot of problems. I was 10 days in comp, and then I was a week in Iron Banner, and I found a lot of problems with Crucible. And it got me thinking, how could we fix this? How did we get to this point? So that's what we're going to be talking about in the video. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a like. It's always, it's, you know, a like rating is always good. And if you want to engage in more conversation like this, then you can find me on Twitter. I've linked my Twitter, Twitter account to the description. I look forward to hearing from you guys. So, I got the Luna. I got the Recluse. The Luna's a bit of a difficult weapon because I'm so used to weapons bouncing and it doesn't bounce. You're used to hand cannons jumping and it doesn't. It's really stable. It's like a laser. And if you can remember not to reload after every kill and you get Luna's, the Magnificent Hull perk uh, proc, then it becomes a machine. It does take a little bit to master the behaviour of the guns. It doesn't behave like a lot of guns, uh, hand cannons in Destiny. Not even the trust, really. But it's very good. But it's super good in the hands of a skilled player. I'm a hand cannon user, but I'm not a super skilled Crucible player. And the Recluse, I didn't really use it in PvP. It, it seems a little bit crazy when you pull the hand cannon, the, 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 the trigger. It just goes all over the place to start with. You've really got to fight with it, even with counterbalance stock on. I think it would work better on on PC with the 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 kind of stability that they've afforded. But uh, very good in PVE. But I have to say, I wasn't I wasn't excited when I got the weapons. I was relieved because I really didn't enjoy getting them. And I believe they are part of the problem. They they're part of the reason I didn't enjoy them is the actual the the, the inclusion uh, in Destiny Two of Pinnacle Crucible weapons. Now, I just want to address very quickly, because I did put it in a Nightfall video, but I want to speak just a little bit about why Destiny Bungie would never stop supporting PvP. I've said it to a number of people who have asked me my opinion. There's no way they're going to stop it. It's kind of the cement that keeps the house together. You know, you don't have to keep, you know, Crucible will be Crucible for three months. You don't have to keep adding weapons, because getting that 10 kill streak is its own reward. You know, there's always... There should always be that fun of going into Crucible. Uh, it all come from a, a, a post that Paul Tassi, who is a writer for uh, Forbes, put up. And it was basically, what would D3 be like if it never had PvP? And then John Wisniak and uh, John Wisniaki and Josh Hamrick left the studio, the two Crucible leads. And people put two and two together and come up with five. There's no way... Bungie will stop supporting Crucible. Just look at where we are now. PvE guys have got four pinnacle weapons. Crucible guys so far have had six pinnacle quests for weapons. They'll never stop supporting Crucible. It's the lifeblood of the game. But where we went wrong is those pinnacle quests. That's the first place we're going to go to start with. Now, everything's kind of cause and effect. The effects, obviously, are the byproduct of the causes. Some of the effects are, before we go into the, the, the pinnacle weapons, some of the effects are weapons. There's there's whole bunches of weapons that don't work. There's whole sections of weapons. Auto rifles just aren't very competitive in Crucible. Even the breakneck's not this competitive. Uh, very few scout rifles. Very few snipers in the hands of anybody but a super skilled sniper. Uh, sidearms. SMGs. Even the Recluse is quite difficult to use because it's got very short range and it's kind of crazy. Uh, so there's a real imbalance of weapons, competitive competitive weapons that are competitive most of the time. 
You can always have a game with an auto rifle where you do well. Maps, I think the maps promote almost a stagnant type of combat scenario. Because I don't think they were they were built in mind with this combat system. They were built in mind for a more 4v4, almost MLG run and gun, fast, high octane battle scenario. Uh, pinnacle weapons, as, as I said to start with, I think the pinnacle weapons have, I think they've kind of, they're starting to ruin the game a little bit. But I will address that. And matchmaking. Solo players coming up against stack teams should never happen. Now, I'm saying stack teams. Before anybody calls me up on that, I mean full fire teams. I don't mean stack teams. But actually, that is kind of what's happening. Stacked teams. The full fire the full fire team with the best weapons and the best loadouts. And just, I think most people would call that sweat loadouts, right? They are the effects that were being that are being felt for the for, for, for the very f- simple fact that PvP guys do not have a pinnacle crucible event to go to. So Bungie has diluted the fact that there's no trials. We'll just use trials because that was the PvP pinnacle, and I'm not talking about trials in the name because that was. I don't know if it'd have been a failure if the weapons would have been as as good. You know, if we'd have had auto rifles and sidearms, not and SMGs being as good as they were then. And hand cannons, pulse rifles, shotguns being as good as they are now. If you'd have had that variation, that balance, trails and they might have worked. But I'm talking about trails of Osiris, three v three elimination. That's what we're talking about. So if you had something like that, then these kind of hardcore PvP guys, like you guys, any of you hardcore PvP guys, that would be your go to, right? If it was Friday to say Friday to Tuesday. That would be your go-to. So what about if you had that and you're like, yes, 3v3 elimination, that's what I've been wanting. And then they put an elimination playlist in the Crucible. Quick play becomes exactly what quick play should be, which is quick entry to a Crucible match without having to face teams of sweats, teams of tryhards. And then the tryhards would be able to go and have their thing as well against other players who are looking for that experience. At the moment... We've had a shark tank and a fish tank. We moved house and we didn't have the space, so we've put them on the same tanks. The fish can't survive. The fish are not having a good time. The sharks eventually will run out of fish to eat. <laughs> you know, that's what's going to happen. Having, so we what they've done is they've replaced the crucible, uh, replaced the pinnacle PvP event with pinnacle PvP quests. And that's to be done in the competitive playlist. So you go hardcore PvP guys that love their comp. They're going to stay in comp. And you'll find a lot of them have got not forgotten. The rest of them that are pretty good. Got friends and stuff. And go in and do that. They'll get their Lunars. They'll get their, their Mountaintop, Red Ricks, Recluse. All these type of things. And then they're, they're, they're back into quick play. Against Joe Public who's just finished work. Had his dinner, said hi to his missus and his kids, played with him for a bit and then gone on to do his Crucible Milestone or just get four or five matches in and he's just coming up against the the hardest type of players. Yes, it does happen. I know it happens. I've been experiencing it for two and a half weeks. Match range, dust rock blues. Just the amount of times I've been killed by one of them from, you know, ranges where I'm like, oh, Really? Because they've got nowhere else to go and do it. Because there aren't enough game modes. Now, I would like to see a change in the game modes. I would like to see maybe in quick play having clash control and maybe uh, survival, but as a 6v6, each player has three lives. Take take the emphasis away from the objective-based game modes. Because the objective in Crucible should always be to, about going in and killing people, right? When D1 was around, and I always reference D1 when I'm talking about Crucible terms, because D1's Crucible was a lot more successful than D2's. And I'm trying to point out what I see are the differences or the common denominators. Salvage was not a very, very popular game mode. So they never brought it over because it was too, too uh, objective-based. Rift... You you struggle to get a game of Rift 
towards the end because it was too objective based. Anything that takes away from the killing is is never going to be successful in a crucible game mode. So bringing back stuff like skirmish elimination as crucible playlists, and then if you bring back my my what I personally would like to see is them bring back trails to kind of go in tandem with Iron Banner. So you have Iron Banner this week, two weeks time, you have week a week long of Trails of Osiris. Two weeks time, you have Iron Banner, two weeks Trails. Bring that back and also bring back 3v3 playlists into the Crucible. What it does is it gives serious PvP players somewhere to go and play. But take the pinnacle weapons out because I'm going to be honest. Pinnacle weapons are the issue. Yes, if you've got a max range, max range Dusk Rock Blues, and you've farmed that, why shouldn't you be able to use it whenever you want? You put the effort in. If I want it, I can put the effort in as well. But regardless of what I do, Lunas might be out of my reach, but you can bring it into my house. You can bring it into where I'm playing as well and kill me with it relentlessly. You can bring Not Forgotten in and kill me relentlessly with it. That is there is a balance issue there. There is an issue with that there. While we're on the subject of balance and issue, why is it you can make your character 8 mobility, 3 recovery, and 2 resilience, but you're as hard to kill as I am with 7 or 8 resilience? If you want to move quickly, there should be a payoff. should be a trade-off. If you're going to move quickly and jump about the map like, you know, like you parachuted in, you should be easier to kill. If I can beat you, if I can if I can lead you and I can if I can get you, if I can hit you, once I tag you, you should take a lot more damage than I should. But I should be easier to tag because I can't move as quickly. So take the pinnacle quests out and make them rewards like you've done like they've done with the reckoning and Gambit Prime. Make them rare drops from the activity. So that you're like, oh man, guess what I just got? I got Luna. I can get Luna if I go and spend time in there. It's not unfair. It's not unbalanced. Diluting the pinnacle, act, pinnacle, pinnacle pursuit from an activity to a quest has caused an imbalance within the community. And it's impacting negatively on people's gameplay. But similarly... The guys that went and put the time in and had the skill, they need somewhere to be able to use that. They still need to be able to not even use it. They still need to be able to earn those weapons. But it should be a skill gap. And that takes the skill gap out of the game. How can it be a skill gap if you can two-tap me once you've got that perk? I have got nothing that can two-tap you. The skill gap's gone. Now the weapon is... You've got the skill to do it, obviously. But you've also got a weapon that's enabling you to do it. And yes, some people will argue, I got that weapon because I'm skilled. I solo queued the weapon as well. And I'm still sitting here saying that I wish this weapon wasn't in the game. Because it's creating a horrible place for players to go and play. But similarly, and I am conceding this, I keep going over this point because I know people are going to say, oh wait a minute, I've got Lunas Hill. You know, I love using my... Yeah. I'm thinking about not just the players who just go in and do it. I'm thinking about the players that love their PvP but don't have the skill level or the f the connections to go and get it. It's these weapons, not you, not your enjoyment, these weapons are ruining their, ruining their enjoyment of something that they love to do. So I think... I think we should, it all boils down to not having a pinnacle event to play for in Crucible. If they did, if you did, if you did, if they did, if I did, whoever did, go in and play this three, for talking sakes, and this is only for talking sakes. 3v3, Trails of Osiris, go in and smash that, finishes on Tuesday. If I, because I enjoy it so much, I've got my 3v3 in the Crucible playlist to go and hit. Every... Skirmish was an elimination where quite people played them quite a lot, so they would be successful, and there'd be no pinnacle weapons. You would just ground out a better role for yours than I did. There's no argument there. You're not annihilating me. I'm not getting killed before I can do anything about it. 
I'm just, you've got the edge because you've got not only a better weapon, but you've got a better skill level. That's my opinions, guys. That's what I that, I think the problem with Destiny is that it's... it's uh, I think the imbalance is being created by taking stuff away that should never have been taken away and adding stuff in that should never have been added. But that's really what an imbalance is always going to be, isn't it? More, you know, more on one side than there is the other. If you enjoyed the video, if you agree with any of the points, leave a leave a like rating and a comment, as, as I've said before. It's always good to hear from you guys. If you've got anything to add, uh, leave it in the comment section. Would you like to see Trails of Osiris brought back? Now that is that's a very I'm being that's polarized, that's cent centralized. Would you like to see the original three v three elimination Trails of Osiris brought back to Destiny? Would you like to see something fresh brought back to Destiny or brought back brought to Destiny, or would you like to see both? Would you like to see a Trails of Osiris with a new innovation as well? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Your viewership is always what matters to me. You guys know that. Uh, hope to hear some of you on Twitter. And until the next video, 